Hello my dear friends, today I am going to show you how to fix Windows security blank screen issue in your computer. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribe and like in this video. Without wasting time, let's jump into video. The method number one is reset the Windows security apps. To do that, you need to go to search bar here, search for PowerShell. And this is the PowerShell application. Right click on it and run as, tap on run as administrator. Then tap yes in the pop up menu. Alright, in here you need to type this command I just go into paste. Okay, this is the command you need to type here. This is get dash appx package space Microsoft dot sec health UI dash all users reset appx package. Then after you need to hit enter, then it will be reset the Windows security app. So then after you need to check again, is it working or not? So this is method number one. And method number two is just close this one. You need to modify the registry. To do that, first you need to go to search bar, type for R E G E D I T. Yeah, this is the option registry editor. Just tap on it and tap on the yes in the pop up menu. Without anything, you need to import the initial registry editor file. If you do some kind of uh, problem in this menu you need to export it import it again so go to file tap on export and you need to place that you need to save the current file I'm going to uh, use it as the desktop and give the file name uh, like to ABC and save it will be take small time to save the application all right then after exporting you need to follow these steps okay first you need to go to HK local machine expand it and in this menu you need to expand the software double tap on it and here in here you need to scroll down a little bit then you will find the asset option called policies tap on it double tap on it and double tap on Microsoft and in this menu double tap on Windows Defender and policy manager okay you can see there is a no value called disable anti spyware okay first you need to right click on it here tap on new and tap on revert 32 bit value and make sure you give the name as disable anti spyware and hit enter now you need to double tap on it and make sure the value is set as 1 then tap on ok then you need to close this one ok the method number 3 is you need to run the system file checker to do that again go to command prompt or go to search bar type on command prompt right click on it Run as administrator. Tap on yes. Now you need to type SFC space slash scan now. <coughs> now you need to hit enter. Then it will be take small time to scan the entire system, and it will be fix the issue. Okay. Then after complete th that one, you need to. Type this command then after completing the scan dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health make sure keep the spaces like this then after you need to again hit enter then it will be fix that uh, dism issue also all right method number four is you have to perform clean boot to do that First you need to search for run application 
and tap on it in this menu you need to type ms config and hit enter okay now it will be open ms config menu go to services tab and check hide all microsoft services go to it will be down okay right is okay in here you can see hide all microsoft services is here you need to check this one okay and then after you need to tap on disable all then it will be uh, do the perform uh, clean boot then after you need to go to the startup tab and tap on open task manager and you need to disable all the startup application by just tap on it and tap on oh, it is already disabled sorry about that second one is enabled just tap on it and tap on disable likewise you need to disable all the enabled application here then after close all the things and go to start menu go to power and tap on restart now it will be completely do the crane boot okay the last method is you have to check for windows updates to do that you need to go to start menu again tap on setting in the left side menu you need to go to the last option windows update and check any kind of update is available and if it is available you need to download that application and install it so these five method definitely fix your issue so if you gain some knowledge from, from this video please consider subscribe and like in this video